going on, you two? This is going to be a, um, a tobacco review slash rambling information type of uh, video today. Um, I'm smoking my Paul Winslow. Um, it is a rusticated pipe with a silver band um, uh, on the bowl. It is a, you got a fine finish with some bird's eye on the top. And yeah, it's in the category of his extra pipes. Um, I guess you could kind of compare it to maybe Boswell's where they have their, their jumbo um, or even, uh, yeah, of course not as big as uh, uh, the Grizzly. Um, that's my cat here uh, messing around with, the, with all my, my pipe tools. <laughs> Um, yes, and in the the Winslow pipe, I am smoking some Paul Winslow, Winslow number three. Um, yeah, it's a nice tobacco. It is some Virginia Flake with some black Cavendish uh, with a little bit of vanilla uh, and almond with champagne. Um, yeah, I'm digging it, man. It's uh yeah, it is an aromatic, um, but I am enjoying uh, the tobacco. I actually met Paul Winslow about a year and a half ago. I uh, I took a trip over to his to his workshop. Um, got a private tour around his workshop. Um, chatted with with the, Paul Winslow and his wife. Very very nice. Uh, had some some coffee. Purchased actually this pipe. Uh, which is one of a couple of Winslows that I own. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, you know, I kept in contact with him. Um, and he, actually, he doesn't live too far from where I live in Copenhagen. And, and another thing that I found, which was quite interesting, that Paul Winslow is also an artist. He does a lot of paintings. And on every tin of tobacco that you, that you buy, the different types, I think he's got a, a number one, number two, and number three. Um, he has some of his uh, artwork that he paints on the top of the tin, and uh, yeah, I thought that was uh, was quite quite unique. I'd never seen that before. Um, yeah. Another thing I'm going to put on the, uh, on the video, which you'll see below the actual video, I'm going to put the website of Paul Winslow, uh, so you can, you know, check out some of his his pipes, uh, some photos of his workshop, um, the guest book section where there's a lot of different uh, yeah visitors that have typed different uh, different things on his on his web page, which I thought was quite interesting. Another thing I'm going to also put uh, another uh, website address, um, and that will be of the tobacco shop that I visited uh, a couple days ago, the Paul Hansen uh, Tobacco Shop, which, yeah, you could check out all the different pipes that he has in the shop. You can purchase them, pipes, tobaccos, whatnot, uh, um, lighters, yeah, so I, I thought, you know, some of you might be interested in that. Um, I want to say what's up to Tobacco Row. Um, I'm glad that he uh, liked the uh, the video that I posted up of the the tobacco shop, and I had uh, gotten some comments from uh, numerous others. And I'm glad that you uh, you liked that that trip uh, to the tobacco shop. Uh, there is a couple other tobacconists that I go to that are quite similar. Um, 
I'm going to post one next week. I'm taking a trip uh, next week on uh, on next Thursday. Um, it's the Davidorf slash um, my own blend uh, tobacconist. Um, and they also blend uh, the tobacco there for my own blend. So I thought that could be interesting to, to check out. Um, yeah, that's it. So I hope everyone's having a good day. And uh, once again, I'll catch you on the rebound. And peace. Take care.